Ugh. Hey guys, I am here today to talk about how to make your hair grow. Let me rephrase that, how to help your hair grow. Because I want to just come out and tell you guys that there's honestly no products, there's nothing, there's no tips, nothing that I, that I can tell you that can dramatically make your hair grow overnight, 10 inches. That's, I mean, wouldn't that be great? But honestly, my hair has been growing lately and you guys have noticed because you guys are commenting oh your hair looks longer and all that so I wanted to make a video to kind of explain about what's going on and some tips for you guys how to help your hair grow and how to make your hair healthy so let's get on to it the first tip I want to give you guys is it's for your overall health and for the health of your and the health of your hair when you eat healthy you have healthy hair if you're eating bad uh, Honestly, your body is craving certain um, vitamins and proteins, and when you're giving your body this, it's going to show in your hair. The quality of your hair is going to improve, the health of your hair is going to improve, and also drink lots of water. Now, they say that you're supposed to drink like eight cups or, yeah, eight cups of water a day or eight bottles or something like that. That's a lot of water. That's like a bottle of water every hour and a half. Just imagine the water going in your body and just cleaning you out because that's really what it's doing. So, healthy. Now, people with curly hair, it's a good thing to not really shampoo your hair as often as people with fine hair. So, I know that a lot of people who have really curly hair, it's better to shampoo about four to five days into the week maybe even just after seven days just shampoo and when you're using a shampoo make sure that it's not too harsh on your scalp on your hair because you don't want it to just completely strip the moisture curly hair is so brittle you have to take care of it so when you're just literally stripping away the moisture it's like the protection for your hair you're stripping that away so a good idea is to use sulfate free shampoos shampoos that don't contain sulfates Normally they don't lather up, but you can find some that are sulfate free that still lather up, but you need to make sure that you check the ingredients in the back and make sure that there is no sulfates in them. That's what I would recommend for your hair because it's really good to just be gentle on your scalp and on your hair. I mean, your hair's growing out from here and you're, if you're putting all these harsh shampoos, I mean, what is that going to do? A good idea is to deep condition your hair once a week. Now, I try to make this a priority because really curly hair needs this. Try to look for deep conditioning masks or treatments that contain uh, macadamia oil, olive oil, and protein because those, all of those ingredients, it's just gonna help bring strength into your hair, it's gonna make your hair come alive, and it's really going to help you. So definitely make that a priority. Just put on the deep conditioner, Put on a hair cap or one of those plastic shower caps. Just leave it on for a couple minutes or even a couple hours. Sometimes I leave mine on for four hours. Gets the job done. You want to make sure that you're avoiding products to style your hair that are going to clog your scalp. So products that are really thick, like thick gels or thick creams, you want to avoid the scalp area because if you're if you're like clogging the hair follicle, then how is it supposed to grow? Your hair at the follicle, it, it's not able to grow if you're clogging it with these really thick products. So just make sure that you're avoiding this area when you're styling your hair if you're using something really, really thick. You want to make sure that you're also avoiding really, really, really tight styles. Really tight ponytails, really tight braids, especially this area right here. I've noticed for myself and for others, this is really hard to grow out. And half of it is because we are putting our hair so tight, these little hairs are holding on for dear life and they just break off. And another half of that is when we're sleeping and we're doing this all night with our pillow and this side's getting it, this side's getting it, what do we do? It's just breaking off. So a good idea is to use a satin bonnet or a satin scarf or a satin pillow. So with the satin pillowcase, your hair is not going to be dried out because the satin is not going to absorb the water in your hair and the moisture. Also, your hair is just going to slide right over the satin and it's not going to be an issue with the friction with these little pieces of hair so you can protect these. A really, really big factor in 
um, stunted hair growth is using heat tools. And not only stunting your hair growth, but your hair grows out. Well, it doesn't really grow out damaged, but when you're straightening it, it appears to be growing out damaged because you're straightening it so much, you're curling it so much, and you're doing all this manipulation and it's not good. So honestly, one of the biggest tips I can tell you guys is to say goodbye to your heat tools. Just let them go, let them be free, hide them away for a little while, and really, you won't even miss them after a couple. After a couple weeks, you'll be good. I used to straighten my hair all the time, and I finally just said, you know what? I'm gonna stop. I don't like it. My hair's looking really, really crispy, and that's not good. So I quit the heat tools, quit it cold turkey, dealt with my hair, and I saw a huge improvement in the quality of my hair, huge improvement in the growth of my hair. Definitely recommend to just give those a break, push them to the side, leave them alone for a while, and you'll be surprised at how your hair is doing after you put those to rest. So, While you're on your journey to long, healthy hair, you want to avoid bleach and you want to avoid hair dye. You guys may or may not know, I just got my hair dyed. A bad dye job that is and <laughs> and literally um, my hair feels really dried out and it's just not it's just not good to just continually keep your hair dyed you just want to give your hair a break dyeing your hair strips your the natural elements of your hair especially bleach when you're going lighter going lighter with bleach ooh, make sure your hair is at a state of good health before you dip into bleaching and dyes and all that a very controversial idea about hair growth is getting your hair cut. Now, okay, my hair grows from my scalp. Why would I cut my ends? How is that going to help my hair grow? Really, the idea is all about split ends. Now, it's really gross. If you look at split ends online and you look them up, they're actually really disgusting up close. Now, split ends is when your hair is literally split. So instead of it being just like a piece of hair that's solid all the way down to the end, it's literally becomes split and it starts to split all the way up the hair shaft and that is when it becomes a problem because then your hair becomes frizzy, becomes brittle and eventually it just breaks off. So what you want to do is try to conquer these split ends by cutting them off in their tracks, snip it off so then they won't split all the way up the hair shaft. That's really the issue. Now, I just want to say that I do have the keratin treatment in my hair. I've had two treatments. After each treatment, I have significantly noticed a growth in my hair. I have noticed that my roots have grown out, and it's kind of um, counterproductive because I'll get the keratin, and then a couple weeks later, I'll have new growth. So my hair normally grows really, really slow. I would say a quarter of an inch a month compared to a normal average half an inch a month. I feel like my hair is now growing about the average a half an inch a month because I do get my hair dyed and I have noticed that I am getting about a half an inch a month sometimes even more and it's crazy because my hair is growing really fast now I feel like I owe that to the keratin treatment because before that hair wasn't really growing it was just kinda just kinda there my sister she got the keratin treatment also when I got it and she's had two other more keratin treatments so she's had three in total and she's been telling me repeatedly after each keratin treatment that she has seen a difference in her hair growth. So, whether you are trying to grow your hair out long or just trying to get your hair healthy, you need to be patient. Everything takes time. And you just really need to say to yourself, you know what? I want to I'm going to stop doing this. I'm going to stop doing this. I'm going to stop doing this. And I'm going to start doing this, this, and this. I'm going to make a change in my hair, and I want to see change. I'm going to do it for myself. That's what you need to do for yourself. So, on that note, good luck, you guys, with your journeys to long, healthy hair. And if you like this video, then make sure to thumb me, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.